Hi, this is Ivan with Simple Sheets. In this video, we're going to do a step by step tutorial of our marketing budget analysis template. This is one of over 100 pre built and smart templates that we offer. Click the link in the description and try 5 free templates before you buy. Let's get started. The introduction sheet contains a short description about this template. This template allows you to track and visualize your business's marketing expenditures which allows you to create data-driven decisions to make the most out of your company's budget. Over here, we have a customization difficulty, an explanation of the sheets that come with this template, and some instructions on how you can utilize this template. At the bottom, we have a short guide on using our templates with compatible online services. We start things off with a database tab, it's here where we can input all our brand data and annual budget plan for each brand. On the left-hand side, in the Lists Details table, you register the brands that you carry, the different statuses or categories they'd be, and also the suppliers. On the other side, we have the Reference table. It's here where you can list the different brands along with their annual budgets. You put in the brand, their status, the section spending element or its code, section spending name, and the corresponding annual budget. Moving on to the raw data tab, register the date. Keep in mind to maintain the format of the date to be month, then year. Input data as well in the columns that are not grayed out. That's brand, status, supplier, estimated cost, and actual cost. The grayed out cells contain formulas which would automatically show the corresponding values depending on the data you input in the white cells. To add the new line of data, you can either enter data on the row beneath the last line of data, or if you're on the last cell of gap amount, you can simply press tab. Heading over to the dashboard tab, you have some visual tools to help you view your marketing metrics. On top, you have some quick stats, the total brands, total suppliers, annual budget, estimated costs, actual spending, gap costs, and achievement percentage. In the chart area, you have the monthly win and lose analysis graph, which shows your aggregate performance over time. Your estimated versus actual graph, which shows your estimated costs against your actual costs per brand your annual budget per brand, and supplier spending costs, which are summations for the different brands and suppliers respectively, and the breakdown of the spending costs per brand. On the left, you have a date timeline slicer, so you can filter your data based on days, months, years, or quarters. Just select the date units that you prefer, then use the timeline slicer to select the ranges that you want. Below that, we have more slicers which allow you to filter by brand, status, and supplier. In case you want to select multiple items, simply hold down the control key and select the other categories. To reset the filters, you can just click the clear filter button on the top right of each slicer group. Lastly, we have a refresh data macro button that you can press to refresh your charts whenever you make changes to your data in the previous tabs. And we have a full screen macro button that hides your ribbon in order to make your worksheet bigger. In order to bring the ribbon back, just simply minimize the window. That's all for this template. If you want to automate your Excel processes and enhance your level of productivity, Simple Sheets Advanced Templates and University is the best tool out there. I'll see you guys on the next one.